Fils qui vous naît. Fils qui vous naît. Fils. Alright, look. Hit the like button, hit the sub button, and hit that notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel, join this Fisk Unit Army, and get Fisk Unit tough. Now listen, Joel Embiid is a clown, bro. Joel Embiid is a clown. I can't take him serious. I can't take Joel Embiid serious ever again. It's bad enough he just gagged away a series that he was up 3-2 in. All right, it's bad enough he didn't touch the ball the last four or five minutes of the game six at home with the game on the line. It's bad enough in game seven he ain't show up at all. You know what I'm saying? He showed up and he showed up in physical, but mentally and spiritually, he was still in Philly. Okay. It's bad enough he choked for the 50 eleventh time. His new name is second round and B. But to throw your teammates under the bus when they score more points than you is unforgivable. So for those of y'all who do not know, this little seven foot sucker went to the podium after losing. And said he needs more help. He says him and James Harder can't do it all by themselves. I'm sorry. What did you do? Enlighten me. What, what, what did you and James Harden do yesterday? That's all I, I, I want to know. Because you threw your teammates under the bus and said that you and James Harder can't do everything by yourself. I'm curious. What what, what you do? What y'all do? Uh, uh, James Harden had nine points. He was three for 11. And you had 15 points. You was five for 18, bro. I, uh, Tyrese Maxey has 17. That's more than you. That's more than Harden. PJ Tucker had 11. That's more than James Harden. The dude who can't shoot and play 21 minutes less than James Harden outscored James Harden. And Tyrese Ma and, and Tobias Harris, his sorry self, scored 19 points, which is 10 more than Harden and 4 more than you. I'm curious. What exactly did y'all do? <laughs> what did James Harden do? And Joel and B do in game seven. I want to know, man. I'm curious. Like, is is there's no way you can sit here and tell me that ain't nobody shoot the fair one in the locker room after hearing that. You can't tell me PJ Tucker is a straight goon. I know PJ Tucker a goon. He ain't going for that. You can't tell me PJ Tucker and get him a step ladder, climb that bitch, and smack the hell out of Joel and B for talking reckless. You can't tell me he ain't do that. I hate when athletes don't take accountability. You know what I respect about LeBron? You know what I respect so much about LeBron? When that bum Kyle Korver bricked that shot versus the Warriors, LeBron took, James took accountability. It wasn't his fault, but he took accountability. When J.R. Smith in the finals the next year forgot to score, LeBron James took accountability. He didn't throw nobody under the bus. Now, granted, he tried to beat the hell out of J.R. Smith for the locker room. He broke, you know, he missed J.R. Smith and hit the wall, broke his hand. That had the point. The point is, in front of the media, he took responsibility. When Danny Green in the bubble bricked that game with a three-pointer versus the Heat, LeBron James took accountability. None of those situations was LeBron James' fault. He took accountability, though. What does Joel Embiid do? I need more help. Huh? It don't make no sense, bro. Like, I just don't get it. Even Giannis, right? Even Giannis took accountability and said, yo, we lost. We didn't play well. We sucked. It's not a, he, he, he refused to call it a failure, but at least he admitted that he sucked. This nigga Joel Embiid just threw teammates under the bus who outscored him, nigga. Make that make sense. It was a two-point game and a half. It was 55-53 and a half. Y'all came out of the tunnel and went on a, what was it, Twenty Boston went on a 21-3 run? Y'all scored three points in six minutes? And it's the teammates' fault? You the MVP, bro. You the tallest nigga on the court. The Boston Celtics don't got one seven-footer over there. You 7-2. Al Horford is 40 years old, and he's like 6'10 at the tallest, and he locking you up. What are we really talking about right now? Like I, he, he, he <laughs> yo Philly, y'all can't y'all y'all the city who booed Santa Claus, man. Y'all can't tolerate this. Y'all also the same city that threw that, 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 that murdered McNabb, bro. Like when McNabb was thought, like there's no way 
Joel Embiid is walking the streets of Philadelphia safely right now. There's no way. There's no way the city of Philly still love this nigga. I can't see it. I'm a diehard Giants fan. I deal with Philly fans. It's like I it's like I attract Eagle fans. It's like because I'm a Giants fan. It's like I just seem to run in the Cowboy, Eagle, and Washington fans. It's just like it's just I attract them. And I know Philly fans is not rocking with this nigga right now. Philly fans is not rocking with Joel Embiid right now. I know Philly all too well. They not going for this. Joel Embiid got to get traded, bro. I might do a video on it, on the best landing spots for Joel Embiid, but he got to get up out of Philly. They don't love him no more. He going to get booed. The first, if he's on Philadelphia next season, he getting booed in opener. He getting booed in opener. But anyway... And that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.